there's no place to escape to. This is the last stream. On the left. <laughs> That's when the cannibalism started. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the last stream on the left. Hello. Movie mogul Henry Zabrowski, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. I'm Very not good. giving anybody any jobs. Yep. <laughs> I just make people feel upset. Yeah, did you watch the Oscars, Henry? Uh, yeah, 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 I did. Yeah. You're welcome. You're yeah, welcome. you know, I help beat oppression by watching the Oscars. Good for you. Good for yeah. you. Francis yeah. McDormand, she mentioned uh, inclusion writer at the end of her uh, speech. And then as soon as she got off stage, a black guy stole her Oscar and they had him arrested for a felony. So uh, <laughs> there you go. So everything is right. She, and then she went to the Vanity Fair party. Kissel. So inclusion Kissel. writer. Honestly, the Hollywood elites are just like us. They go to the bathroom. They, um, they put uh, on shoes. The I shoes are much more expensive, much better than anyone in this room. I got the new Jordans. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not Shitty. wearing them. I don't I wear them. Awful shoes. Look at these things. Marcus has a history of bad shoes. As a matter of fact, the best shoes that Marcus ever had were the ones that he stole off the person who broke his bong butterball, uh, <laughs> and then he forced him to walk home without shoes. And I think that was the best sneakers he ever had. I didn't. I didn't steal the shoes. I demanded his shoes. You look like a man that you. You constantly. Your shoes look like you get them for free, like because people left them at the bus station. Like why yeah. is that? Like why do you just? Put, it seems like you just pick up random shoes. Is it, he, he runs into Ben Stein every time he's shopping for shoes. No, there's a reason behind this. Because one of my feet is bigger than the other. <laughs> and and one of my feet is bigger what? than the How other. How have I not heard of this before? <laughs> Henry, did you That's know this? Come up. When have no, we I talked didn't. about shoes? I honestly when have we ever that that spoken all... about shoes with each other? Not once. I honestly think <laughs> there was a man at Payless that said that once to you in when you were eight years old and then it stuck in your mind. I do uh, not think that that is real. No, no, Mrs. no. Mrs. Parks, uh, Marcus, he's got one and then the other. It's just, I've never seen anything like it. It only started like three years ago. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where one foot grew and the other one didn't, and they're also real wide. So it's real hard for me to find shoes that actually fit. You're going to uh, be so dead So I'm just going to have year. to go with whatever works. That is a disease. That is yes. a disease. <laughs> You're um, turning into the toad that you hate. <laughs> we're getting a lot of love for our shirts, um, and a lot of people here uh -oh. are also crying against the Hollywood elite. Uh -oh. They're out there. They're lying to us. Someone just said uh, Francis McDonald. Dorman wanted him to be let go, and then the the uh, then I do believe that Benicio del Toro showed up and said, "It is Dean," which I think this is that. <laughs> That's possible. Um, all right, so uh, this week we have none of us are. Not it's not a, our mandate. It is producer mandate. It is Morningstar, Woo! Travis Morningstar's <laughs> mandate. Ghost garbage on Twitter. Yes, I think my mandate this week uh, poses the question. Why does this show have to be entertaining or funny? <laughs> ah, good. Oh, good. I feel like we've already played into that theme quite often. Mm -hmm. but. Uh, but for my first video, uh, I have just watched The Sopranos completely for the third time over. Oh. So I want to do a little bit of digging, and I found this hmm. unofficial documentary made by one of the extras in The Sopranos. <laughs> uh, so let's check this out. Travis, is this what sober people do? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, how much did that cost for win? I think it's his limo. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is a limo production. This he drives like it. A oh, pornography movie. You get a bump if you're a BG and you have your own limo. You and also you have your own cop uniform. <laughs> they don't show the scene where he scuttles into the back seat. He drives it, scuttles into the back seat and gets out. Two seasons of The Sopranos. I even yeah. whacked a few guys, but you know what? I'll always be remembered for what happened to me in episode 34. I died. No hail of bullets, not even one neat shot behind the head. I died literally in the head. Yeah, I had to go out on wow. the toilet, but when you gotta go, you gotta go. Baby, don't bother me, I'm making my act. So if I copy the demand, I'm gonna take you. Baby, I know it's an anniversary, but I rented this limo, and if I don't shot. get it back by Both cool, I gotta rent it for another day. And the gun. <laughs> bang, bang. Hi, welcome to Satin Dolls, also known as... <laughs> oh, yeah, Satin Dolls! <laughs> Honestly, she's... Let's that's check it out. Pretty hot. What is Satin she's, Dolls? Is, is this Bada Bing? It's a strip club. Oh, I see. Okay. The Sopranos is Bada Bing. 
That's a nice place, though. Hey, here's Nick the manager. Bad, nice. <laughs> Clever Nick hey, John, how are you? He is you four you? foot How's eight. How's everything? Good, how are you? Good. Welcome to Satin Dolls, the Bada Bing Club. The most famous dance club in the Oh, a strip club in the light. Never show a strip club in the light. Look at all of the all look at all of the secrets <laughs> being exposed. Oh god. Fresh coat of oh. paint on that champagne room. Honestly, those uh, girls are beautiful. They're doing great. I, yes, they're wonderful. I mean, I don't think oh, they need to be surrounded by this jackass. Get out of there! <laughs> yes, barely wow. sarcasm says I if shot this... all this footage that HBO was very upset about. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, I, I was really hoping that guy would end up having to dance for the customers and get one dollar bills. Maybe that's how he pays for the limo. So, let me get this straight. He shot a doc about the BTS of Sopranos, but he just went to the real set of the Bada Bing Room and just got the... This was a commercial for set and dolls. I think he knows the manager. Well, he, and also, then... he also invaded... He basically invaded this old woman's house where they shot the uh, pilot, and he sort of made her hold a gun. And... <laughs> Fuck yes! Why didn't you edit that part, Dennis? It's Come on! The, the documentary is five hours long. Really? Fuck <laughs> yes! This Holy is the kind hell. of shit. All right, everybody wants to know. It's like our episodes are, what, two hours sometimes when we record last podcast. People don't put in enough work. Technically, that guy, he... Will go farther than much, mm. than many more talented people. I mean, I imagine at I don't this know, point Henry. he is dead, but I, I imagine that he did kill himself in a bathroom in real life as well. <laughs> it's possible. Well, I think it's five hours because he didn't take any time editing. Yeah, I think he just kind of shot and went with it. Actually, yeah. I yes, this is what a sober person does, Henry, because I did further research after this documentary. <laughs> Uh, John Fiore is a basketball coach in Montclair, New Jersey. Hey, oh, all right. Oh, he honestly, was, that's a happy ending. He was interviewed after the recent school shooting. I don't know why he was interviewed for this paper. He's the good but, guy with the gun, of course. He, his quote was, it's scary to see all these shootings happening in schools because you know exactly where the school shooter is going to go to first. The basketball coach and shoot the basketball coach. <laughs> oh, I've heard that. They were the front <laughs> line of defense. <laughs> Always when it comes go to the basketball coach. Actual quote from John Fiore <laughs> in a newspaper recently about a mass shooting. Well, I'm so happy he's empathetic towards the children that died. <laughs> uh, so I did. guess the basketball coach died. In it does park seem to be football coaches. Oh, well, that, yeah, uh, seem to uh, seem to be on the front lines there. I, the basketball I'm going to maybe not so say. Much. Uh, maybe this is a, a this is maybe a bad thing to say, but it seems like football coaches get in a mix more when it comes. They to do. The <laughs> I yeah, feel like I that when it, that's when exactly why gets, it happens. If, yeah, the football coach would be like, "Let me get in. I'm ready to do this my whole lot." When we all yeah. the basketball coaches constantly talking about fundamentals. That's a, that's a foul. <laughs> that's a foul, sir. You're traveling. You He's gotta about the gun. rules. You got yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> it. I agree. I mean, that's why I hated football because the coaches are men, and I can't deal with that. <laughs> like, come on. Come on, move your ass. I'm like, well, let's think about this. <laughs> Did you have a female wrestling coach? No. No, no, I'm saying they're masculine. They're tough. They're mean. Yeah. They don't give you water, but even though if you're desperately thirsty. Football coaches have killed more children than anybody else. Oh, yeah. Court, yeah. Uh, coach Forehand. That was my football coach. Oh. He was a fucking coach mad Coach Forehand? Man. We had yep. Coach Bob Ratchet or, Ra or Rachek? Rachek? Anyway, he had a restaurant called Coaches. He was so obese, around 600 pounds. I told this story. Uh -huh. For our senior gift to him, we got him a golf cart <laughs> uh, so that he didn't have to walk anymore. I mean, it was like he was like before Wally. He was on that tip a long time before. Our band director had a golf cart. Isn't that nice? But she was about three, four hundred. Yeah, no, she was close to six. Yeah. That's a goal, ladies and gentlemen. Get so obese they have to give you mobility via golf cart. Oh no, she I brought her own golf cart. She when did. She was <laughs> That's actually very nice. And she should also get a bump for that. Technically, you should get a fee for that, like when you bring your own pants to a shoot. I also <laughs> hope that each one of these people get a gun. Mm. I think. Oh, we, yeah, give them a gun. Let them light it up. Oh yeah, good old Ladine Harton. She needs a gun. Yes. I mean, they should start. Um, carving out the paper in the books, put little guns in the books. <laughs> oh, so every day's like Clue with the kids. Every <laughs> single day, you wonder who's gonna die. Well, we got a shout out to Marcus Parks' dentist by Ginny Powell. Oh. Apparently, your, your teeth are looking great. I can't oh, tell. Great. Look at that. Um, and Sawyer loves you on the chat. You said my high school gym teacher used to drink whiskey out of a paper bag <laughs> and uh, leer at all the girls swimming, and he died of liver failure a few years back. So. Another angel in heaven. Yeah. <laughs> Good for heaven. Liver success. The liver died doing what it loved. Um, all right. <laughs>
That's, is that what they'll call it? I don't you, know. Uh, a wow. success of the liver? A success of the liver. It worked too hard. Um, the greatest generation. <laughs> Civil War. Uh, I'm playing uh, Call of Duty World War II. I beat it. Mm -hmm. So, got war on the brain. <laughs> this is why you have war on the brain, not because we're in two forever wars constantly and a new one in Syria? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I actually got Modern Warfare as well, Call of Duty, but it's not as fun because you're not killing Nazis. Yeah. And, you know, it's just... Keep telling you, play Wolfenstein, you're going to love it. Right. There is nothing as satisfying at blowing a Nazi's fucking face off. It's right. so nice to just watch it, him just... Yeah, and in the second Wolfenstein, you get to kill clan members. Oh, wow. You get to wow. beat him to death with a baseball bat. That's wow. awesome. New Nazis. I didn't realize oh. that Charlottesville was a level. <laughs> Agent, <laughs> what are you doing? Agent <laughs> underscore Jeffrey says, hey, Marcus, your milk and pepper set on K-Piss today was dope as per usual. Oh, Thank you very oh, much. Wow. I appreciate it today. I had a lot of fun today. What'd but, you play today? Oh, let's see. I played Dead Skeletons. I played some Iggy Pop. Uh, I played some Sweet. A whole bunch of other stuff. I played like 30 songs, did and I play remember Whale and very Jays? few of them. I did Do not. You, did you uh, play Willie Nelson? I did not. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, that's how it sucks. you play anything that celebrated the glorious nature of our country? Uh, Iggy Pop? Yeah, kind of. Uh, he's Henry, he's all it, about having weird, sharp hips. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What yes. do we got, Travis? Yeah, uh, it's Travis, this is your mandate. You gotta, I, you gotta jump in here, Travis. <laughs> you gotta wrestle the horse away. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, this next video, I hope nobody's seen, because I haven't seen it, but I did realize, I just checked, and it was released the year that I was living in my car, and I didn't have a lot of internet access, so if you've seen it, I'm sorry. Did you I say you were living in your living car? In my yeah, car. I just realized we know very little about you. <laughs> I like, I you like living in your car? I, was living I don't in my want car. a whole story. I don't want to know your bio ever. I don't know where you're born. Is our only <laughs> employee to, homeless? I just wanted to explain that this is the reason why I haven't seen this popular video. Gotcha. Okay, so here we go. What does this guy think he's an Indian? <laughs> oh yeah, I've seen oh, this. Oh, we, I think what the fuck is he doing? I actually have it. Not ever. No way. <laughs> now he's Johnny Hammer sticks. I'm run away like he's friggin' Tommy Noble. <laughs> the hell's he doing? Think she's think she's got it going bossing over. No way. <laughs> no way. What is this garbage? <laughs> What is this? Oh, I'm king of the trees. I'm the tree meister. Is this the same guy from the last video? <laughs> what sometimes I pry, I like to steal. St yeah, right. Yeah, right. Bullshit, they. S Bull this woman's such a bitch. Thinks she's Miss Sand. Very strange. Drinking out of cups. <laughs> Being a bitch. Kind of a Geico commercial I bet her going fist. wrong. I bet her fist. I bet her burned. Oh. Pat our school, pat a little kid in the background, fucking going crazy. <laughs> <coughs> Who's this guy? Mr. Balloons. Mr. Balloon Hands. No way. I like Mr. No Balloon way. Hands. Get real. <laughs> like those things. I would have made that is wish a, as a kid. Mr. Walkway. Mr. This Walk down one. me, I'm the walkway. Lead me to the building. Fuck you. <laughs> Five, six, four, three. Yeah, right. You some stupid bitch. Who paid for that floor? What is going on? No way. Never paid for no floor ever again. Not once, not never. Nope. Whose chair is that? <laughs> Who bought that goddamn chair? That's not my chair. Breezy my Briv chair, says on problem. the screen, That's this is the man on acid that recorded himself, no I guess. I think I remember Stupid this from dresses. back in the day. Ah. Stupid flowers. Lighthouses rule. If you don't like the lighthouse, you suck. <laughs> what is this, seahorse captain? <laughs> what, seahorse seashell party? Who didn't invite me? I think he's a low on acid, huh? invited seahorse sea hell? What is this? Get real. <laughs> I'm in love with seahorses. I'm in love with them. They're so beautiful and cute. I'm in love with the seahorses. <laughs> They're fucking unreal. I love them. They're like all the clocks. I love them. I love seahorses. <laughs> and I love looking at them. And I love seashells. I love seashell things. I love things with seashells and seahorses on them. Like blankets and towels 
in little bags. The world would be better if everyone was on acid. I don't think so. The the world will be a lot less responsible. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the thing true. about acid. Apparently, there is there's there, there is some discrepancy about whether or not it is true or not that this is real or this guy or it was fake, whatever. As always with the fucking internet. Um, yeah. Yeah, it sounds but, like a fucking like awesome Godspeed you Black Emperor song, but just, like no music. Hey, I got that reference. <laughs> <laughs> I think technically that's the B side of Godspeed you Black Emperor. Don't they have that too? Don't they have music with no music in it? Music Sometimes, with no music. But then isn't. the music comes in eventually. Like Dead huh. Flag Blues is just a guy ratting about the government. Uh, it's great. I don't know. I'm gonna go see I'm, it next Monday. I like really? Where yeah, I can do uh, this. Brooklyn Steel. Oh, okay. Yeah. I like being able to like feel it in my plums down in my deep my my sweet little pink little plums I like them yeah. swinging back and forth a case in the loose skin of my thighs for my years of losing weight get get to move and remember when we were in Scotland and we heard fiddle music and we all three danced just like that's that our people fun. that's what our people want <laughs> that's to. our wakanda Scotland is our Wakanda. I haven't Which, seen yeah. Black Panther yet. I yeah, gotta check it, it out. When you see it, that'll make total sense. No, I got, I got yeah. the reference. I've read can so I much about it. Can I express a conspiracy theory about Wakanda? Sure. Beautiful film. Loved it. Everyone in it is, it is illuminous and talented. Good fight scenes in it. Okay, you've, that, you've, che you've checked off all the things you have to say before criticism. <laughs> Every, um, so a fifth of that movie is car commercial. The whole uh, thing is about how vibranium, what is it? Petroleum? Vibranium. It's what Captain vibranium America's shield is made out of. Oh, really? Is in the mountain, is it what made them super advanced? So mm -hmm. the whole answer to every single thing that they say is drill, baby, drill. Essentially, they're supposed to go <laughs> drill for more vibranium. It's about is Sarah fossil the fuels. <laughs> I am saying it is about fossil fuels uh, glorifying the use of gasoline a little bit because of its tying to the marketing company. I'm just saying, really? I'm just, I'm just saying food for thought. <laughs> a pro fracking message. I might go see it now. Yeah. Travis? <laughs> you have to get me an Travis. Travis. <laughs> you got to do it. You got to do me. You know, in Washington State, the, a judge just ruled a man, he was sleeping in his uh, pickup truck and mm. he didn't move it. And he just said that that is his house and they can't tow it. So maybe the laws will go in your favor. Oh, actually, it says right here, someone just brought up hail me, underscore me. Fuck yeah. Not to be mistaken with Wakanda, Illinois. <laughs> <laughs> Which oh. is pretty fucking, that is really pretty amazing. Ah, uh, yes. All right, let's uh. check back in with Jim Baker. Jim Baker? People need to prepare yes, and sir. prepare and keep preparing oh until you're totally prepared. <laughs> but I want, but, yeah. but, but here's the thing. 55 gallons of milk oh. in one of these buckets. People will say, well, the Shemit is over. <laughs> The Shemitah was the beginning of God's judgment. I love this. <laughs> this is the, the televangelist Jim Baker? <laughs> trying to hold it and touch it and say, it's great. <laughs> yeah. I love this. Oh my <laughs> God. Oh yeah. Can you imagine being in yeah. an emergency room with your family with gallons of milk? <laughs> Just how disgusting that would be if you're an extreme prepper and you're 20 feet underground and everyone only has milk to drink. I'd be fine with it. It would smell like it would smell like Rikers Island. It would be horrible. That's you, all they. Do, is that what Rikers Island smells like? Well, when I got to, uh, sent down to the tombs after helping someone through a turnstile here in New York City, all helping they do is two percent. I did. And, you did. Uh, and then um, uh, all they serve is cheese sandwiches and two percent milk. Mm -hmm. And then there's no, you know, there's no windows. Um, for obvious reasons, because it's a jail, mm -hmm. so you can just imagine. Yeah. And then they, and every hour they come, and one of the people who are in jail s just splashes a bunch of bleach on the floor to, to clean. Ah. So it smells like bleach, cheese, and milk farts. But it did do that, right? <laughs> what? It did clean it. No, they just threw bleach on the floor. I'm scared of jail, man. Yeah, dude. <laughs> As that for me, between your stories and Ed, Ed's stories and, and the stories well, I see on the it. internet and then lockdown and fresh out, it just mm. seems like I'm not cut out for prison. Honestly, dude, your size is great, though. Those are big beds for you. Yeah. For me, I mean, it's a horrible nightmare. I got to crunch up. No, I don't know. I can't. I still need. I'm so used to my, my memory foams. <laughs> you forget it. <laughs> You when I say that resisted. out loud, when I first get to prison, saying I'm used to my memory foams, is that when I get passed around? <laughs> it's going to happen pretty quick. Yeah. Tell him your father's a cop. Uh, my daddy's that... a cop. <laughs> <laughs> and then tell him you're a comedian. 
A podcast yeah. comedian. Oh, oh, that'll be good. You can run the radio like station. Comedians. We've already learned that they don't like comedians. Yes, that is very true. They don't like uh, them. All right, Travis, what do we got? Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at my list here. I'm wondering why I chose some of these videos, but... Uh, <laughs> well, <it's, laughs> you did this. What kind of car do you have, Travis? Uh -huh. You what have an hour to entertain uh, the people. It was a 2000 Chevy Cavalier that was painted pink with uh, glitter in the paint. And, it, and again, why did he have to sleep in it for a couple of nights? Uh, I ran away from home when I was uh, 16. Oh, oh, so you weren't looking for videos then? Wait, were you? <laughs> I thought you were looking. You're not, you're not sleeping in your car now. Dude, no. No. Oh, thank God. No, oh, can I ask like a strange thing in bed I, I didn't know what happened to it. He said he was sleeping <laughs> in a car. Were you beaten as a child by your parents? No, let's just let's just get fully into it. <laughs> just get into it. Let it go. Let it go. Let um, it flow. Seemed like it's a yes. It seems like you were severely beaten as a child. And that's I mean, no one runs away hear. because everything is going too good. <laughs> you're small. This. You're I smaller was, than you should be. I was. Uh, my parents performed an exorcism on me when I was a kid, actually. Oh. Uh, yeah. If this is giving you any indication. That's cool, yeah. though. Yeah. Yeah. Really did cool. it work? Really cool. <laughs> you know, I have less, yeah, I have less demons in me now than I did when I was 12. Uh -huh. so. Look at his eyes. You know he's telling the truth. Yeah, traumatized. <laughs> yeah, traumatized. Traumatized. Uh, so Hell yeah. here's a, a video I chose from the mind of someone who apparently had an exorcism done to them. We leave the confines of the Arctic Circle Stadium and head outside to the frozen tundra for event number seven in these 2018 <coughs> Winter Marble Olympics. You see the wow, trench that has been dug like that Madness. will play host to the yes, Snow Marble Rally. Two races, each race giving competitors number of snow points. You chose first, this. One How long is this? I've been. I'm going awesome. 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 yeah, right. right. for the green. Snow Green's my favorite color. I'm going for the tiger's eye. I don't even know if there is a green. Let's go green. If you're there, yeah, there's a green. He's in third. The right now. only way I would truly enjoy this is these are all fake like eyes Alabama from Republicans. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Wow, this is great. Well, that what the, the red was past there. It looks like a purple or yeah, purple's up there. I think that's that tiger's eye in the second place. Oh my god. Wow. This is one of the more exciting things I've ever seen. Do you guys pay to see this? Is <laughs> there anyone who's paying to see this content? Okay. Oh wow. And Got a winner. Oh, Hail purple. Wakanda. Lizzie. I don't even think Pinky green is. Pinky Dink, Tan Grin. What must be. There's green in the very. I got the last. I am oh, second to the last. 12. I will say in the YouTube comments for this video, the guy who made this video is harassed because he did not release the marbles at the same time. That's a good point, though. <laughs> and uh, people fucking did not like that. Yeah, that's a people great point. People are really supporting you, Titties. Thank you. Yes, these are great videos. All the way then down to one point. There's, there's an audience road? for the Marble Olympics. They're Marble people. Oh, of course they're Marble But yeah, I, 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 the, yeah the, that's not they make fair. a great point. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, no, that doesn't really make any sense. I, there are a lot of people that do. Because you said that, and I see that on the stream. Many people are saying they watched this. I think this is absolutely fascinating. I love it. I just feel like this is going to be playing on my mind on loop when I'm finally in that glorious coma that will come to me in my 80s. Team this is perfect America. old person entertainment. It's got marbles, it's got snow, you got a little Icicle competition. Icicle Treepan says, you know, somewhere in some dark corner of the world, this marble shows some guy's sexual fetish, and I would not disagree with that. Oh, shit! Oh, is he gonna catch up? Oh, they spread back out again. Oh, I think he did! Oh, wow! Oh, no! Oh, shit! Oh, yeah, God is Yeah! All right. There he is. All right. That is great. Momo. Way to go, Momo. Wow. Just about a second. That's great. Yeah, Wizzy came in sex that time. Look at Bad that. Bad second showing. I like that he named all of them. <laughs> I mean, yellow is just yellow. Or no, I guess it's Yelly, the mellow yellow. Yeah. So that's good. I want to see one of these marbles, thank God. <laughs> I feel my wrinkles form when I watch this. Like I feel my skin I'm aging. Like I feel yes, time slowing. Have their first goal I feel content. Limers is the green. I like him. Brutal black guy. This is Black Panther. Yes. Oh, look at that! And we have a victory ceremony. <laughs> 
to I Momo feel and when I watch this. Of course. This kid what? was. Hey, um, well, I don't know why they gave the green the gold. I don't well, because recall it's the not. Green it, it, it's what not about who so wins. Bands. It's about who gets the most points overall. <coughs> That's how the Olympics work. The Olympics are like. Uh, I don't understand the Olympics, to be frank. We got shellacked. We oh, yeah, we sucked. And I I said it several times, hammered on scotch, just staying up, just watching, going like. Get your shit together. Jump higher. Do your shit. <laughs> which is my favorite. Do my favorite yeah. uh, thing as a as a, an American just watching it. But I, um, how did the Olympics work? We came in what fourth or fifth? We came in fourth, but it was a pretty dramatic fourth from the third. What uh, do you mean? We, we did well. It, we it was a pretty big drop off from the medal count. I think we did twenty three medals, and third got like thirty four or something like that. That it sucks. It was not good. I don't know if it was like a psychological thing because no one wants to win for the country right now. I don't know what happened, but we should have done better. We did crush snowboarding. Yeah. And curling. Yeah. Which was and awesome. Curling. Mm -hmm. And curling. And so. curling. Yes. We feel we would not. That's not. No one loses the Olympics because they're not proud of their country. It's not about the know. fucking country. It's about them getting that cash money, getting the Nike fucking. Most deal. of them are actually going extremely broke. There's a great real sports on it. Mm. Uh, they have to finance their own way to the Olympics, despite the fact the Olympic Committee makes millions and millions of dollars off of their performance centers. And you know who trains in those performance centers? Who okay. got foreign <laughs> athletes? Mm. And they don't even uh, have the American athletes there. So what? it's all. It's a racket. Huh. No one what? cares about people who know how to row. I mean, do people do. They should because it'll help them get out of countries where they need that, right? Yep. I like the Russians though. We're just athletes from the state of Ru or from the country of Russia. Yeah. Yeah, which was kind of funny. I'm so. Okay, you guys remember uh, Alex Lysak, <laughs> the uh, the witch guy? He sent in his own home homemade witch videos. Does this, any of this ring a bell? Hmm. Yes. Homemade... Yes, it does. Yes. Yes, okay. it does. Well, he sent in another one. Uh, so here's that. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, they got Lucy, huh? Oh, he's and my Satan hunter. See? Cool. I have crystals because he lives underground. <laughs> Burning some sage because everybody likes bird sage. <laughs> Spooky skulls and tiger bomb because, well, if you punish torture souls all day every day, your back will start to ache. <laughs> well, uh, let's get this show on the road, huh? <laughs> this is all you have to do to make comedy, by the way. <laughs> I'm dead. I love it. Yeah, it's great. Get a spooky. message says, wait patiently for Satan to arrive. Patiently. <laughs> 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 Say uh, Hello? Who's there? Satan? Prince of Darkness? <laughs> Lucifer? No, this is Stan. I'm I'm your upstairs neighbor. You're just yelling. Stan God Oh, it was Stan the whole time. Yeah, that's great. great. I like it. That's great. Fun Muppet. It's like the Muppets. Yeah. Yes. All right. Good that's call so cute. There. Who was that from again? Travis? Alex Lysak. Alex. Mm. Thank you, Alex. Hail yourself. That was super fun. And I please, love fan more. Videos. That's what we want to do. Sort of instead of uh, so many phone calls, just send in your videos and yeah. we can play them there. It's a better artistic approach to it. Make something. You Make know what I'd something. like to see too? I'd like to maybe respond to listener emails. Or re like we could do that too as well if people want to email the last podcast network at gmail.com. We have to get an envelope then. <laughs> you have, if you're going to do that, you have to get a big envelope and you what have you to mean? present it. You have to get an envelope. Why? Otherwise, it's not a thing. Be no, we can just have a stack of papers. Well, I, I would like to. You should read it off your I, fucking I phones. What is this? No, but, 1957? Well, the, what no, are we? Still basking in the glory of winning World War II? No, we got these no. tiny little phones that we stole from the Japanese after what they did to our boys in World War II. And yeah, now well, we are. Ugh. So let's use it. We're going to get a heck of a lot more expensive, by the way, with the tariffs coming. We're not going to talk. You get an envelope <laughs> because then it's a bit. Ah. And then you pull I, it out. So Travis could, could just, like, give us an, uh, an envelope. Yeah. An envelope. Can you imagine if they read the Oscar winners off of their fucking phones? 
<laughs> What's the point? It's not. That's not an exhibit. That's not a. That's not a presentation. Mm -hmm. Midnight Animal X. It's not just questions. If you have stories, if you have something, something, something along the line, something well, interesting, something yeah. entertaining. That's in a short. You know. I'll read it. Great. That's <laughs> fucking great. <laughs> Thank you, Henry. Uh, by the way, Canada oh, wait, got here. third. Uh, Dana Batiste on Twitter says Canada was in third. Sorry. No, sorry. You know, no, sorry. sorry. Which, not, uh, no sorries. You deserve it. You need something. Because yeah. your handsome president, whatever his job is, he is a liar to you. <laughs> and he's selling you down the fucking river. I know. Oh, that India trip was amazing. Oh, he's fun. All right. All right Muscatoon next... talking about my tiny little phone. It is a tiny little phone. Remember how phones used to be? What? How old are you? Well, I mean, when I grew up, phones used to be part of the goddamn house. Yeah. <laughs> and make the whole house out of a phone. Yo! <laughs> you know, Car George Carlin said that a house is nothing but a place to put your stuff. And when you go in a hotel, it's just a smaller place to put your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and then when you go to the beach, you get a smaller yeah, thing smaller to, to, to take your stuff. <laughs> you put your <laughs> stuff in it. You know, he saw the world differently. <laughs> he did. I love he George Carlin. He is the best. <laughs> you were all diseased is my favorite George Carlin. That it's is a best. very very, very funny one. Denied quality, yes, you can mail your gay last podcast fan fiction to y'all. I honestly expect Why that not? to be mostly what we receive. I hope yeah. so. All right, what do you got All for right, us, so Travis? The next one, uh, I follow this guy on Instagram uh, called Cult of Madness, uh, and he makes these little awesome uh, video montages or video uh, collages, and this is one of them. Okay. Cool. Oh, man, what was that movie? Looks like the descendants. Oh. For the residents, I mean. Oh, awesome! What do you think about that new Strangers movie? Do you think that looks any good? The Strangers movie? The, the, the original, the first Strangers sucked. It's well, just that like was all based of off the movie up. Them, which was the French film, which was awesome. The movie Them ruled. Yeah, that's what the Strangers was based off of. This is very nice. You can play I this really, out here. honestly, radio this show. is one of those episodes, Travis. You're doing very good with the atmospheric. My, my thing is, I, I, I wish I was fucking baked to shit, but I had to drive here. <laughs> right. And Critters too. Yeah, I love Critters too. It's great. Man, I wish I could be high a lot more during the day. You're in LA, man. You're supposed to be. <laughs> I am cool. a Residence oh, fan. Great. Yes, 1900 490 freak. I am a Residence fan. I like them very much. Do you like the Residence, Marcus? I like the Residence, yeah. They're pretty cool. Yeah. Big eyeballs. Yeah. I like, I like the renters. <laughs> 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 the rental? Uh, you know, just yeah, a lot of buttons today. <laughs> gonna, going, it's going to swing in for the front of the home plate there. I watched six hours of Casey Anthony trial today. Oh! I watched the opening arguments on both sides. I watched an an hour long all of the police footage of Tony Lazaro talking to the police. I talked to all of the FBI uh, interview footage of George Anthony when they were talking to him about the Zenaida Gonzalez stuff. Right. So my brain is fucking destroyed oh i understand buddy yeah i gotta check some of that stuff out i remember watching it in real time and i mean it was nuts yeah you don't want to totally watch crazy. it it's boring as fuck it's hours how do no. how do trials you not get done the nancy grace cutaways where she starts screaming and freaking out and you know well, we're gonna cut to we're gonna i'm gonna save that material by the way, the what a great show. response uh, to the Casey Anthony episodes. Thank you all so much. That's a that's a very current for our standards. It might oh. as well have happened yesterday. Very much. It's so. still a little fresh. So I'm trying to find the woman on uh, Instagram who messaged us and said she actually went to high school with Tony Lazaro. I had yeah, someone I did someone reached out saying they had went to high school with Tony Lazaro, but I'm afraid to trust anybody involved in that fucking case. <laughs> oh, she, uh, I don't Stein think she's involved in the case. Shout out from Orlando. What's going on, you piece of shit? Get out of there. You Orlando. gotta get out of it. I love Orlando. I'm going on vacation with Orlando. Really? No, I'm. <laughs> I would though. <laughs> All right, what do we got, Travis? <coughs> What's he oh, doing? What's he got in his mouth? <laughs> <laughs> Sixty days. <laughs> <laughs> that guarantee. The made USA products. You really got nothing to lose. So buy now. 
I'm actually oh. proud of this guy. <laughs> I'm actually <laughs> proud of him. I mean, this is American ingenuity. Mm. But why do you need your jaw to be stronger? <laughs> you know, what's the, what's, I the really just what's the application of having a stronger jaw? I think um, if you, you can eat. You could fight off a cock in case you're being pinned down by a group of men in a field. Well, before you to go to prison, you. maybe we should get you this. Uh, my, my jaw is pretty tight. I chew a lot of gum. That's what I need. I like the gum. Mm -hmm. God, that looks uncomfortable <laughs> as hell. I could see this. I could see um, maybe Barbara or what's the other gal on Shark Tank who works at QVC? I could see her buying it. Her name's like Bertha Runker? Bert, <laughs> it's a name, or, no, it's like Mergerta Junket. <laughs> She's 500 yeah, pounds. Mergerta Junket, yes. Yeah. We, all, we all know Mergerta Junket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she farts in a bucket and she puts it on her head. She says, oh, look, it's a Spanish helmet. And she says that to everybody all the time. I love that catchphrase. I love a shark tank. Six <laughs> hours of Casey Anthony trial footage, huh? Six, six, six hours. hours. Because also, Jurors just have to sit there all day just just trying to focus. Yeah. Yeah, like the like the guy who couldn't close his eyes in the movie Hannibal before he was fed to the pigs. Oh yeah. Hmm. Mm. Uh Gurney Sanders says, tell us the story of your arrest. It's not a big deal. I got a drinking in public violation and then I didn't pay it for six years and I helped the guy through a turnstile. Turns out I had an open arrest warrant because they passed a stupid law here, which has since been rescinded. Really? Uh, because it was wow. so stupid. And uh, it, it so was that because was of it. you. So, yeah, because of me. They said <laughs> he arrested the wrong man. But they did do that facial recognition stuff. So yeah. my retina is all scanned, so they can recognize me anywhere I go here in New York City. And I like that. I'm an extrovert. Me and Henry have never been arrested. No. I've never been arrested. I One time, I, when I was a little kid, I used to play pretty extensive. I liked pranks. Like, me and my buddies used to do, like to do, I, I liked to walk into a supermarket and pretend to have a heart attack and fall down on the ground. And one time, <laughs> yeah. my buddy took a soundboard and we duct tape it to my chest. And this is simpler times. I yes. walked into a bodega with it uh, strapped on my chest, and I said, "This is a bomb! I'm gonna blow up this whole fucking <laughs> this whole place!" And I was like 11, and the store clerk maybe stay there. They called the police. They went and they put me in the back of the squad car so I could sit and be like, "Do you want to be a terrorist?" Like it was like a cute like little lesson, <laughs> which is just well, white privilege. Is, white that privilege is the just definition inaction. of it. Do you want to be a terrorist as opposed to you are a terrorist? <laughs> despite the fact that's a soundboard. Uh, look yeah. at the clock boy for crying out loud back in the day. Yes. Anyway, um, Gurney Sanders is also a lot of people are asking for more Travis stories. Do you have anything else really sad and no context to give Travis? Absolutely not. <laughs> okay, good. Nothing. Okay. How long was the exorcism? Uh, it took about a day. A day. A day. Shit. And what was it that you were doing where they thought they they had demons in you? I really do not remember. I really it was uh it was about ten people circled around me in this house and uh, they gave me an exorcism. And now you work for us. Yeah, isn't that great? cool? Yeah, well, welcome. Guess, this is the promised <laughs> land. Doing the best they could. Doing this the is, best they could. This is it. We we we're delivering you. We're changing your life every day. I see you. You're walking taller. Your your yep. foot is has gone from sideways to normal. <laughs> Unlike Marcus's, uh, I was almost drowned by Pastor Matt in the uh, in Jordan River when they were doing the baptism. Mm -hmm. I think he he really did keep me down uh, quite long, and I'm fairly certain the crowd was kind of into it. I was body slammed by a by a minister to let Jesus into my heart. Yeah, I Jesus. had a couple of people. They just kind of punch you in the face and you fall <laughs> over. A, a Southern Baptist. Yeah. yeah. Why did he think we should that... connect on that. that. I just don't understand how that how does that work. How does that it make does you? It. It breaks mm. the it breaks the ego down mm. so that you accept whatever they're they're telling you. It yeah. shatters and your the spirit. life. Yeah. 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 All right. All right. Uh, it's kind of funny. <laughs> That's nice. Uh, so bail bond commercials are. Like oh a, my god! Uh, yeah. I love bail bond commercials. Of, of awfulness. So uh, here's just predatory. Like random. For some people, <laughs> jail is a welcomed relief. No, it's not. Oh, Dad, I'm in jail. <laughs> Jail! I'm in jail! I don't like it here! Throw away the key! <laughs> but 
for others caught in the long arm of the law. Anything you say can will be used against you in court of law, boy. It's hardly a laughing matter. That's why if you're in jail, in trouble, Vista Bail Bonds can spring you in a hurry. They're right there where you need them, right across from Vista Jail. Is it a heist or? Since 1967, Vista Bail Bonds has popped the lock for thousands of people walking on the wrong side of the tracks. Oh, the Jesus, why? <laughs> Whoa, Henry, this is, oh, this is funny. Maybe they're where they belong all along. Vista Bail Bonds, right where you need them, right across from Vista Jail. Call 967-7777. That's 967-7777. Oh! Oh, shit! It you definitely implied something at the end yeah, there. He got raped at the end. Wow! <laughs> wow that, that is funny. That That's is a too good much. advertisement. That is too much in these times it is. Jeez! My goodness. Where was where is Vista Bail Bonds? Do you know where that's that was from? Uh, I think that's California. Yeah, it, it, it seemed kind of that was baffling. Yeah. You always know you're in the near the courthouse. When you start seeing the bail bound companies, uh -huh. it's always near the courthouse. Mm -hmm. They make a lot of money. And they we do. gotta do away with the entire system. I feel like I'm getting there was too a, political today. <laughs> there was a true time period where I was I wanted to be a bail bondsman. Like I wanted to be Wait, a, a bounty hunter. Because oh, bounty hunter. That's different. Well, no, it's, like, wanna... it's the same thing. A oh, lot of times, is? yeah, because if they don't, if they jump bail, uh, then the bail bondsman has to go get him. Because the guy oh. that's involved in the Casey Anthony case, Leonard Padilla, uh -huh. uh, he was a bail bondsman slash bounty hunter. Slash bounty uh -huh. hunter. Yeah, that's how he tried to get the whole. Uh, that's how he tried. To, he tried to get his bounty hunter hunter TV show off the ground <laughs> by putting up Casey Anthony's bail. That's great. Well, I just felt, yeah, I would love to see you as a bounty hunter, Henry. <laughs> I feel like I could be, like, good at it. <laughs> I think you're intense enough to wait hours and hours and hours for the small satisfaction of catching someone and making them feel as if you're in power. Well, I, well definitely that. I love, <laughs> I love flipping the tables on people. Be like, I'm five foot seven. Now you're coming with me. You know what I mean? It's like, I like that, like, <laughs> flipping the tables. But also, my thing is, is that I like the idea of being a private eye because you just sit alone in a car taking pictures of stuff, and that's kind of fun. But right. I also wonder how many times I'd jerk off. That's an issue. <laughs> Loneliness, you fall asleep a lot, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know what the life of a PI is. No one respects them, I don't, I don't believe. Oh, no, they mostly work divorce cases. Yeah. yeah, although when we did cover the Courtney Love, Kurt Cobain case, it seemed like the PI was the only rational one in that whole story. Seemed like it, but he also may not have been rational. Yeah, <laughs> he's definitely not. PI's are not rational. PI yeah. means essentially because that is, that is legitimately my backup plan. Like if everything goes to shit, I am gonna be. I'll do that because you can go get a fucking license and you just take pictures all day. But yeah. you have to be fucked. You have to have no other way of making money. I think you usually just find cheating spouses, right? That's like ninety nine percent of the world. Well, you work for an insurance company. Ah, uh, yeah. See if they're working on their cars when they got a broken back. Uh -huh. I've seen Dateline twenty twenty. <laughs> They've covered Hugh Downs covered that a lot in the nineties. <laughs> That's what you do. You go, you go, and you, you go see the guys where they're like, yeah, they're doing yard work, but yep. they're supposed to be in a full body cast. You and told your job you were told us. <laughs> the doorbell rings, and they run in to get into their full body cast, and they Velcro it in, and then get towards the door. <laughs> <laughs> and they get shown the footage right in front of them on a little handheld camera, and they mm -hmm. say, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, know, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do we got? So this might be too dark, but I... I oh, good. At, I laughed at, like, the very end, so maybe you guys will find, think it's funny, too. Damn it, you're gonna run for me, run! And there is no such thing as a good loser. I've seen this. It is a disturbing trend at kids' sporting events nationwide. Why is that guy dressed like Jason? Parents attacking referees, yelling at young Fuck players, yeah. even threatening their own children. I'm going to get you tonight because you let me down, bro. <laughs> <laughs> deleted scene from Fixer Uppers. Fuck. Did they put a bug on the kid? <laughs> that is, if you're that kid, the best day of your that life. Like, absolute I hope he does best it. Day of your I hope life. he does it. The kid oh. probably messed up on purpose. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get you, bro. <laughs> Folks are asking for a Travis biopic. I agree with Travis Morningstar. That is oh, horrifying. That is unwinding. You know, I will say my parents, you know, they made some mistakes as all parents, but my mom would always say, C's get degrees, and they never yelled at me for failing miserably. Mm -mm. So, 
It was expected. <laughs> Which is another bad kind of thing, but my parents were oh. just uh, encouraging enough. They were very nice. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> my parents ignored me, and that's how I got here. Yeah. I, um, the, uh, <laughs> I'm going to get you tonight. Cuts to him waiting to be beaten. And it's like, surprise! We're sending you to dance school. And like, what? Dad, I get you go to. <coughs> You're going to gay dance school because that's what you are. He's like, Daddy, what? What a day. <laughs> what a I day. I love it. Call uh, me oh. by your name is what they said. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Man, see, he what? came in a fucking apricot. Isn't what that happened? Like a spoiler? That happened in the movie? That's not a spoiler. What unless happened? it's a pornography film. Call me by my name? Call me by oh, your that's name. Oh, that's a, uh, the that's Oscar, a the Oscar, Oscar, the, the, the no, romance. He was a 17-year-old and a 24-year-old. Something like that. Is that it? Yeah, there's a lot of chest sucking in it. Really? <laughs> All right, it's very good. Italian. It was yeah. a peach. It wasn't a... It no, was a peach. He did have sex with a peach, huh? Yeah. And yeah, and then he made the... Then the boy... The old dude went... Oh, and ate it like he was a fucking senator. He, he like he took it, the he... thing and he's like, oh... And then they're all like... And then they think it's romantic, which I guess it is. I just... Like, a, like an LL Cool J video there. Or no, uh... <laughs> did LL? Yeah, he would eat So the guy was... came on a peach. Yeah. In it, it sounds like. Well, in it or on it? In it. Uh -huh. So you gotta hollow he, it out. Yeah. yeah. He, did, he like suck his thumb in it and then like, oh, that's kind of pliable or whatever. And uh -huh. uh, came in it, guy came in and was like, oh, got a cummy peach here. Uh, and oh, he was geez. sort of threatening to eat it. Uh -huh. And at which point the old couple sitting next to me in the theater said, oh my. And that guy <laughs> went on to start Horror Bill. And he had cummy peach I as mean, a, one of their first sugary flavors. <laughs> but he's they did incredibly, incredibly handsome. But the name Army is awful if you are not a soldier. Oh. His name is Army, which I Army? guess is short for Arnold. Arnold? <laughs> oh, Army Hammer? That's the guy, Army, Army, the actor? Army Hammer. That's a great name. Army Hammer is an awesome name. It's the People closest thing to being I'm, an instrument that Thor would use. People are saying I'm kink shaming. I just don't understand. <laughs> oh, no, it doesn't matter. We, I think we're kink shaming too much in this country right now. Let let them be. I can do, know do it's you. good. I, no, it's Have good. Have a little fun. But salt and sweet is good. <laughs> I like salted caramel. I imagine you put cum on a peach to the balance between the ammonia thick ropey stuff on it with the on uh, on. I guess that's good. That's what you're searching for. Looking for temperature discrepancies. That's also what's really good. What you want in good food is that you want temperatures. You want a hot and a cold, and you want tech. You want like a conch. You want like something that has something mixed in there, a couple levels in there. Well, maybe that's what he was looking for. Um, <laughs> all right, here's this next thing. All right. Oh, speaking of food. I don't know if this is the intention of the song. <laughs> now they do what they told you. I love rage. Now they do what they told you. This is actually what I'm going to think about now every time I hear this song. <laughs> yes. Did it? Now they do what they told you. Now they Why do what they told you. Why you this very highly political charged song? <laughs> Yeah, yeah! I will admit to getting far too into rage and Fuck taking yeah! it very seriously growing up. And that's it. Cool. I don't think they know what that song's about. No, absolutely not. No, I don't not. think that they do. No, definitely not. My pants so, fall um, down sometimes when I move around. Your pants just fell <laughs> down. Fell. He has no, remember he has no butt. I, I know no it. Butt. Um, What's that shirt you got there, Henry? Frankenhooker by uh, Fra Frank Hennenlauter. It's a film. Ah, yes. We, we met, met him. him. Do you remember yeah. when we met him? Yes, he was extremely nice and surprised anyone wanted to meet him. I loved him. He also made, what else did he make? Uh, Bad basket Biology, case. Basket Case. And there's one more, the, the sex one. That's Bad Biology. Is that by right? Okay. Yeah. Oh, right. um, I believe Rage Against the Machine was heavily political. Yeah, of course it was. <laughs> they literally, they started one of the uh, a massive riot in Chicago on the rooftop. That was just incredible. It's one of the best concerts you could ever see. It's on YouTube for free. Check it out. So that They're verse great. that they were singing over and over again translates to, um, Daddy, cleave this nugget. <laughs> That's what it translates yeah, to? in Japanese. That's hilarious. <laughs> Daddy, so, like, they're, nugget. like, considered, like, Blink-182 or, like, what's the, uh, Bare Naked Ladies? They're like the bare naked ladies of Japan. 
Yeah. So yeah. it's fun and corny exactly. and kind of goofy. So if you slur and now they do what they told you, yeah. that means, That's Daddy, cool. can you cleave this nugget? Daddy, cleave this nugget. Yeah, <laughs> sure, yeah. And then That's they told amazing. You, so do, what, do it. And then the mother saying, those who die, is her saying, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> hey, Henry, can you do that? Do it. <laughs> That's do it. Do it. Do it. Now they do what they told you. That's a great acting now, technique. Now, now you do, do what they told you. Now, now they, they do they what they told, told you. This is getting into a direction that we're not allowed to go in. <laughs> oh, that's a good acting technique. I'm trying to learn other languages. Now they do what they told you. <laughs> you oh, so you that. can do it. So you're allowed you to do, do anything. <laughs> good lord. Um, all right, what do we got? Uh, so actually, <laughs> Uh, Dickie sent me this. Oh, oh, yeah. oh okay. Oh, yeah. Show what Dickie sent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, <laughs> <Okay, laughs> boy. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> it looks like it's in distress. <laughs> Is it real? Yeah, that's a real I, monkey. I don't. I, is that a baboon? It's a baboon. Oh, it is a real one. You think? <laughs> no, that's not a real monkey. That's a person dressed up. <laughs> that is a monkey. That's not a little person dressed you up. You don't think so? No, I don't think so. I hope it is, because the monkey does not seem happy. <laughs> How did they get him to attack the door over I and think over that again? was a person dressed up. That was a real no. monkey. That it's was a monkey. It's a baboon. Baboon. Ah. Leave it's him alone. <laughs> why are you so upset about it? Did you see that Twitter account that's set up that says, like, leave him alone? That's, that mentions you, Kissel. It goes through the podcast, and it mentions specific times you have said for people to leave things alone. <laughs> leave it <laughs> alone. <laughs> Everyone is so mean. Leave it alone. Like 20 of them. It's Everyone's very strange. Fine. There's like 20 of them. It's like leave Ben alone or something. And it has the dude from the leave Britney alone video, which is pretty great. Oh, I do. Chris Crocker, the best. He was going to be a huge star, but then uh, it, he got into the drugs. Mm. Um, but that's OK. Um, it barely Sarcasm says, I have a video of people having sex behind a hotel room door. Well, who do I send that to? Travis Morningstar at gmail.com. Yeah. yeah, we might have to put some sensor bars over the hotel. I think it's just for um, Travis. That is oh, just for okay. <laughs> that's good. That's what he needs. More trauma in his life. Thank you. You, you don't have... What's the most traumatic <coughs> thing that's happened to you in the last, like, six weeks, Travis? <laughs> uh... I lost one of my adult swim gigs today. Uh, what happened with that? Oh, Why'd they you just, get fired? They just ripped it away from us. Well, they it, it did? Was too, it was too expensive to do in New York, so they're doing it in Atlanta. Uh, so, uh, I mean, like that. Some realness. I just yeah. some realness well, they're it's missing real. out. Adult swim, you're missing out. You're missing oh, out. You're missing out. Look at this. Out. So, the, the game quoter. From IMDb, many of those scenes that involve Shakma angrily attacking a door were achieved by putting a female baboon that was in heat on the other side of the door. I this don't like evident that. If you happen to spot a particular part of Shakma's anatomy during those scenes, he's hard as a fucking rock. <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> Let's I, go back and look I at it again. Like I want to see how problematic the... filmmaking. Let's, Let's look at it again. Like I want to see Dorst. I want to see if it's, it's cock. Can you see? Is it? It, was it a real movie? Look at for its penis. Okay, I, I don't, don't see it's fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy. Just I don't pause like it every it. once in a while. Just try to pause it when it's front. Oh, he almost got that thing open. There must be someone holding the door shut. No, it's like barred club with the C clan. Can you see the cock in it? I can't see the. Yes, it's at the. It's like. No oh, wait, I saw it. I yeah. saw it. I saw it. Do it again. Go back to it. I don't. All right. <laughs> Good. <laughs> oh, that's kind of trippy. Oh, oh, oh yeah, there it was. Yeah. It was, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then, there, right, yeah, come back yeah, here. There, go. there we go. Wow. Well, they say instant replay is wow. in sports, but I that guess it's like, doing good for our stream. That is me alone in a hotel room. Yeah. Well, I don't. I think that that's a little bit mean to do to, to the monkey there. No, no it's, it's not. Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah, sure because he let they let them fuck it afterwards. I hope so. I don't know. Mm. Well, you got to be careful with that. Yeah, I, mean, I feel bad. That's my new catchphrase. Yeah, my new catchphrase. Better better be careful with that. Be careful with that. that. Why do you feel bad for the male monkey and not the lady monkey that's about I feel to get bad for both by of a them. furious I, baboon? I feel bad for both of them. They're not in control of it. Unless there's a monkey director. 
<laughs> Unless there's like a Kubrick monkey director who was like, this is perfect monkey cinema. And all the monkeys are in on it, but I don't think it was like a Jack Nicholson in The Shining moment. Uh-uh. I, I think but you know who had a horrible time in The Shining? Shelley Duvall. She did. Yes. That is true, yes. and I feel bad Technically, for her. Technically, she has more of gone off. She's a little oh, no, she's, lost she's, the mind a little bit. She's ruined. Yeah, she's ruined. Yes. No, that that is more of the baboon gone. version of the of the director Bertolucci that used a lot of real sex in a lot of his earlier Italian films. With with animals? No. Uh. <laughs> with Bertolucci. Italians. Don't don't insult the Italians. <laughs> this is this is fun. Um, okay. <laughs> Let's do, uh, Travis, what do you got? We have five minutes to Travis Mandate. We have another, we have to wait another month. It's like a WWE pay-per-view before you get another Travis Mandate. So let's see some more. Yeah, let me just cram some weird stuff in here. All right. Now I pick up the phone. 1-800-GET-CHAT has something for everyone. Private anonymous talk, anytime, anywhere. Instant hookups, and it's totally cheap. Real talk with real people. Call 1-800-GET-CHAT right now from any phone. Join the party anytime. It's live 24 It looks like Casey Anthony a little bit. I met her the first time I that, or There's the guy. The only number I need is 1-800-GET-CHAT. <laughs> wow. Who is Why the guy? Why did you show that? It made me laugh because they <laughs> voice over the guy. <laughs> yeah. let's, let's get the voice over guy. Yes. I want to hear that guy again. Okay. All right. From any phone. Join the party anytime. It's live 24-7. I met her the first time I called. You <laughs> <laughs> met her the first time I called. By the way, speaking of leave him alone, leave Stormy Daniels alone. Mm. That's what I say. The yep. old Stormy. She don't deserve none of this nonsense. All right. Got to be careful with that, man. Yep. That was way back in the day. The call up line. I never did it. No, I never. I, never did I called. We. You could. You called a free number at mm-hmm. first, and then they tried to get you to pay. But I never. My friends. My one friend would do it, and uh, I guess his parents just put the bill. I called the eight hundred number once just to yeah. hear the voice, and then when they went to the nine hundred number, nah, you can't right, do, it. Can't that. do it. I always did that. It's busted. so strange. I used to call and just yeah, just like, <laughs> and then hang up, and I'm just mm-hmm. covered in my seed. <laughs> right, and that was you're on the family landline phone. Uh-huh. Probably oh yeah, all you have to just like, pick up what destroys a fucking erection harder than my mother picking up a phone to them. Henry Thomas, I'm supposed to call the quilt store. I got to call the quilt store, and he's just like, I'm now here, and I'm full of rage, and you're like, call now, like like while while her voice is all mixing together. <laughs> You got one of those, what was the, the, the phone pad that you could rest it on your shoulder? Oh, Remember yeah. that thing? It was very mm-hmm. famous back in the day. Mm-hmm. They don't exist anymore. They should make it for the iPhone. Uh, that's uh, These things right here. Uh. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> All right. What have we got, Travis? Well, I started with the... Uh... Well, we're close to the end. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Whatever yeah. we, we show here, minutes. this is going to be the end of this. Okay, oh well, God. either a Sopranos thing or a 9-11 thing. Uh, you know, I mean, maybe I'm always going to choose 9-11 because we always do. We've, we just did Sopranos. And I, <sighs> I, I, I almost forget what that number is means. It, how sad is the 9-11 thing? Oh, it's actually quite happy. Okay, well, let's, if it's happy, let's and do this it. this is actually another Dickies thing. So All right. Let's give it up for okay. Dickies here. Hail yourselves, game. everyone. See you He'll next say. week. Whose mandate is it next week? Mine. All right, Marcus, next week. We got some weird shit. El martes 11 de septiembre del 2001, siendo las 8 y 46 de la mañana, Estados Unidos sufrió la mayor ofensiva de su historia que culminó con la destrucción de las Torres Gemelas en Nueva York. ¡No puede ser! ¡No! I mean, you could be happy. I don't speak Spanish. It doesn't seem happy at this point. <laughs> what is he doing? I think he's trying to call one of his relatives. <laughs> I, 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 this is... Why is it so up, upbeat? Oh, I guess the music is upbeat. Video gameish. The imagery is is quite mm. devastating. Incongruous. Mm. 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 I. 
Yeah, I. He's not. He's upset. He's upset that it's happening. He's not. I mean, it's the music that's. Yeah, the music's not. Are you sure you're not still living in your car, This is horrifying. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a while since I've uh, had to look at this. I hate it. Is that Ecuador? Huh. That's Ecuador, right? It's, I am not sure. Zing. That's insensitive. Whoa, cool outfit though. <laughs> oh, it's a tribute song. This is awesome. <laughs> huh. So this is like the, like their version of like a Toby Keith song. Or... You know Whoa, what? Oh, is this freedom? Is it free in Spanish? <laughs> Whoa. You know what we, you know what I can do? I can take this home, take it to Carolina, she can translate it for us, and then I'll come back next week and we'll find out what this whole thing's about. I That's gotta say, aye aye aye, that is a pretty serious song. It's a and very it serious subject, yeah. I don't know. Give well, me a minute. Technically, I mean, we're out of time. We are out yeah, of time. Yeah, we are over time. Yeah. All right, everyone. Yeah, we're going to wrap it up. Hail Talk Satan. To you. Hail yourself. I Talk feel, to you I soon. feel deep, weird inside. Yeah, it's always traumatizing. It's the beat. Hail Satan, everyone.